Welcome to our service for Remembrance Sunday. So let us begin. We are here to worship Almighty God, whose purposes are good, whose power sustains the whole world, who loves us, though we have failed in his service, who gave Jesus Christ for the life of the world, who by his Holy Spirit leads us in his way. As we give thanks for his great works, we remember those who have lived and died in his service and in the service of others. We pray for all who suffer through war and are in need. We ask for his help and blessing that we may do his will and that the whole world may acknowledge him as Lord and King. So let us pray. Let us pray for the peace of the world, for statesmen and rulers, that they may have wisdom to know and courage to do what is right. Most gracious God, in whose will is our peace, turn our hearts and the hearts of all men to yourself, that by the power of your Holy Spirit, the peace which is founded on righteousness may be established throughout the whole world, through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. We also pray for all those who suffer as a result of war, for, the, for those who are injured and the disabled, for the mentally distressed, and for those whose faith in God and in man has been weakened or destroyed. We pray for the homeless and the refugees, and for those who are hungry, and for all who have lost their livelihood and security. And we pray for those who mourn for their dead, those who have lost husband or wife, children or parents, and especially for those who have no hope in Christ to sustain them in their grief. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, infinite in wisdom, love and power, have compassion on those for whom we pray and help us to use all suffering in the course of your kingdom through him who gave himself for us on the cross, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. So let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And now we have our first reading. A reading from the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, verses 12 to 16. Wisdom is bright and unfading. She readily appears to those who love her. She is found by those who keep seeking after her. She makes herself known even in advance to those who desire her with all their hearts. Someone who awakens before dawn to look for her will find her already sitting at the door. Taking wisdom to heart is the way to bring your thinking to maturity. The one who can't sleep at night because he's consumed with thinking about her will soon be free from worry. She herself goes about looking for those who are worthy of her. She graciously makes herself known to them as they come to travel. She comes to them in each of the ideas 
that they think. And now we have the act of remembrance. Let us remember before God and commend to his sure keeping those who have died for the country in war, those whom we know and whose memory we treasure, and all who lived and died in the service of mankind. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Almighty and eternal God, from whose love in Christ we cannot be parted, neither by death or life, hear our prayers and thanksgiving for all whom we remember this day. Fulfill in them the purpose of your love and bring us all with them to your eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pledge ourselves anew to the service of God and our fellow men, that we may help, encourage, and comfort others, and support those working for the relief of the needy and for the peace and welfare of the nations. Lord God, our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve you and all mankind in the cause of peace, for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of your name. Guide us by your spirit, give us wisdom, give us courage, give us hope, and keep us faithful now and always. Amen. And now the blessing. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen.